Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And I think I can legitimately say that I am proud to say that I am here on the Land of Italy map. And it has been fully, I'm going to say remastered by the original map author, Sukaz Farmer, S-U-K-A-Z. Hopefully I'm not destroying that name. Of course, it's Zed for my foreign friends. And... Our buddy Edomod, who, if you remember, I did a Mod Minute or so video on uh, his Fiat Agri tractor set that uh, he put out this set right here with the uh, um, HP texture packs, had some of his personalized textures that went along with them. That's part of this map as well. And they teamed together. Now, this was originally, I guess, an FS13 map. Now, I think I remember playing this map back on FS13 when I switched from console to PC. And But I got to tell you, obviously, a lot has happened since then with the game. And many, many improvements have been made. And these two mod authors have just, from what I can see, just knocked it out of the park. It's absolutely stunning. So what we're going to do, and I think... The best way to do this is I'm going to leave the detailed review up to um, those YouTubers that are just better at it than I am, quite frankly. Um, but I'm going to take you on a little map tour. And we're basically going to attempt to, I'm driving, so there's that, follow this blue line, which is basically a horse trail, a horse riding trail, that will highlight some of the things of the map that are just just beautiful i'm on my buddy trigger right here uh this of course we're starting at uh, the, the old horse barn stables oh got a little got some little ponies around here now this does use the enhanced animal system i have not used that mod yet but um that is one of the required mods for this map this map does not have many required mods. Um, three of them, I think three of them, are in the actual in-game mod hub. And then there's, of course, the Fiat Agri. And I believe one other mod that you download when you get your link for the, um, for the map itself. The map is completely free. This is standard definition textures or low-res textures. You can download medium and high-res textures at a, um, a minor price. I personally am more than happy to pay for the uh, high for the uh, high def textures. Um, that's just my opinion. You do what you like, but either way, you can support the author even if you download just the standard definition pack. A lot of work goes into something like this. I can't even imagine the amount of work that goes into something like this. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'm not going to talk during all of it. So <clears throat> if you're worried about that, don't be. A lot of this is I just want you to enjoy looking at the map. Absolutely stunning. I am looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to playing on it. It's one of those maps that you... Uh, that I think you can just, you know, grab a cup of coffee, maybe tea, depending on where what you like to drink. Maybe an adult beverage. I like my adult water beverage. And just, you know, on a Sunday afternoon, do some farming in Italy. This is absolutely stunning. And I thought this was pretty unique that this is a this is the first time I've seen this where the map authors actually put together a dedicated uh, horse trail to ride your uh, horses around. And they're marked. I would say they're well marked, even for someone like me, who is um, inherently directionally challenged. Um, I can generally find my way <laughs> through this map on the horse thing. Now, something I did want to point out that I didn't point out back at the horse stable Let's stop here for a second. Are these markings? I really, really like these trigger points. I, if, if, 
personally, if I were Giants, I would adopt these into the next version of Farming Simulator. I think they're... I personally think they're considerably clear. They give you a, a, a space that you understand where you can work in. And they're well labeled. Just my opinion. They're also uh, color coded. I would love to see giants adopt that. I think that's I think that's pretty brilliant. And you can see here's the horse trail signage, by the way, that I mentioned that we're going to be following today. all of the details that went into this map creation it, it just boggles my mind I would love to see something like this become available for console players as well at some point that would be absolutely brilliant I don't know if there are plans for this map to be released for consoles or not. He did release, if I if I remember correctly, he did release his Fiat Agri tractor set, the basic tractor set, uh, for PC and consoles. So maybe there are plans to get this out on consoles as well. But if you do happen to be a PC or Mac player, I mean, it, and it's not even a very large download for the for the degree, the degree of, I would say for the degree of um, missing my words. Of just the the uh, the overall detail of this map. Looking for a better word than detail, but yeah, it's it's a relatively small download. just it's it's everywhere you look it's it's absolutely gorgeous and again here's another one of those markers for a water refill point how nice and easy and you know i mean it's just for for if you're if you're new to the game and you see something like that i mean it's so clear and obvious it's i really do like these markings quite a bit I'll have to check our PDA every once in a while to make sure I'm not completely lost. I think we're still doing okay. This looks relatively familiar to me. This will be a good spot for you to check out also the custom traffic that this mod has or this map has. Let's stop here for a second. Let's wait for... Uh, a couple cars to go by and you can see there are some I noticed there's um, some trucks that come along a uh, bus I'm not sure if we'll see any of the trucks or not looks like we're clear we might as well Ooh, car coming I wonder if cars will stop for horses do cars stop for horses um, apparently not. That's really rude. Trigger, I'm sorry. I I really thought they would stop for us. Oh, is that a little citroon? Is that what that is? How cute is that? Still would have hit us. They look cute, but they're dangerous. Sorry, Trigger. 
I, I really thought they'd stop for us. That's my bad. everywhere it just you never feel like you're you never feel like you're outside of the land you're never taken out of the map i guess is what i'm trying to say is the the immersion is fantastic you, you just feel like you're you're always in this land you know no matter where you look you feel like you're you're in the land of Italy. And there's so many absolutely just gorgeous views. Don't want to miss my turn, but let's stop here for a second. Just so you can see just the beautiful landscape and you don't see where you know that you don't have that that edge that map edge you feel like you're just there surrounded and just always inside that land that's it's a big part of just of just you know feeling and keeping that feeling of the map that you're playing in and this map may not be for everybody stylistically you know, people like different kinds of maps. But even if you're not a fan of Italian maps or, or you know, British maps or whatever stylistic maps you like or dislike, you look at a map like this and just um, the amount of respect that goes out to the mod authors for, <laughs> for just the massive amount of work that goes into something like this. And I don't know, uh, I don't remember FS13, uh, the FS13 version. I wish I did um, play it more and, and, and could give you more, um, more of an idea of what's similar and what's not. If you, if you played FS13, if you played the Land of Italy on 13, I would love to hear from you on what your thoughts are about how this map resembles it and doesn't resemble it. I do know that I recently had gotten into FS13 and was and was playing around a little bit on 13 and the and we have come a long ways on farming simulator that's for sure especially graphically it's just it's not even in the same ballpark anymore. It's really impressive. Now, hopefully I'm still on the horse trail. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to check. To make sure that I'm still there. Oh, it looks like I did miss. I did miss a turnoff back here. So what we're going to do is we'll go back and try to pick it up right there. Like I told you, directionally challenged. Oh, trigger. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, I didn't do that fair for you. Let's see where I... I missed our turn right here. There we go. We're back on track now.
This will be a good workout for Trigger, I guess. At some point, it would be kind of neat to allow the horses to be able to drink from uh, the streams. I'm hoping Giants uh, does something similar like they did with the Seasons mod where they picked up some of that Seasons mod and, and brought it into the game. I'm hoping they do that with this an enhanced animal system. I think it's a really big miss if they don't for the next version of Farm Sim. I would love to see built into the game a lot more detailed animal husbandry would be really cool. Weren't we right there? Is that is that not where we were? I think so. That's okay. We got to see some woods. Every once in a while, you just got to keep your eye open for these map trail markers. Some of them are a little harder to see than others, but I would say for the normal player, they're uh, easy enough to follow. I actually need those little, or would like to have those little Pac-Man dots that you can follow and chew up as you go along your route. Beautiful sunflower field. Pointing towards the sun as always. Must be up over there somewhere. Man, there's parts of this map where if, you know, you just, I actually feel like I can smell the, the area that I'm at, you know, like, like right here, I just feel like I can, I can smell the sunflowers and the, the lush vegetation, you know, a little bit of dirt smell being kicked up by the horse. some beautiful parts of this world and I always look at some of these places and just think man how did people get lucky enough to live in these gorgeous locations absolutely absolutely gorgeous and of course our horse trail keeps us out of harm's way of traffic Unless you're me and stand in front of a car. Giddy up, buddy. I think we're still on the trail. Oh, we are indeed. I feel like I could I could just spend hours just riding a horse around this thing getting off the trail and just experiencing and looking at all the details of this map hello Mr. Deer I'm glad our horse isn't easily spooked chase after that deer yeah you get going deer he's probably eating somebody's crops anyways
tell me this wouldn't be the life though, right? vineyard area. I think we're getting close to coming full circle. Absolutely beautiful. I think Trigger will be glad to be back home, get some water, get some food, get me off his back. to the horse stables see the rest of the family all right trigger you did good thanks buddy <clears throat> so that's just kind of a I guess an overview of the land of Italy by Edelmod and Sukaz Farmer. Highly encourage you to check it out. Go download it for yourself. And uh, yeah, definitely leave uh, leave props for these for these mod authors. They uh, they work extremely hard at getting this stuff out to us, and it's an absolutely gorgeous map. Like I said, I'll have the <clears throat> the links to the downloads 
in uh, the description below. Hopefully you get a chance to check it out. You don't need to create any accounts or anything. You just need to put in an email address when you check out. You can get the standard definition free. But if you want to get the high definition packs, I think there's also even a medium definition pack if you if you want to just go halfway with it but yeah thanks everyone for uh checking out the video i hope you enjoyed uh i guess more or less a visual tour of the land of italy i know this is definitely going to be on my playlist but you all uh take care of yourselves leave a like if you enjoyed the video i'd appreciate it as always feel free to subscribe to the channel you can also uh become a member if you'd like make sure you take care of yourselves most importantly, take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.